pace time, more cruising time. cruising like this when you've almost got the canal to yourself. The water level is quite low so you kind of want to avoid the edges. I think it's the time of year although there has been some rain now so hopefully that will improve things. Banbury is not far so when we get there we'll get into a more urban area but it's a smallish town so there goes a the train in the distance. Actually not that far in the distance, it just the lens, the wide angle lens makes it appear so probably about two or three hundred meters away. single locks is that they empty and fill very quickly. The ones which take two boats side by side take longer. here in Banbury now, just arrived. It's right in the middle of town. I'm not going to lie to you, it's not very peaceful. There's construction going on over there. So in time it's going to be lovely, but it's not the most peaceful place to be moored. So we're going to spend the night here. These moorings are quite cool. You can stay here for two days. We probably will only stay for one. All the shopping you want as well. Ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross to see a fine lady upon a white horse. With rings on her fingers and bells on her toes, she shall have music wherever she goes. Well, this is the lady. There are the rings on her finger. Can't see them probably, but they are there. Very cool. And that is Banbury Cross. The cross is actually the crossroads. There was a cross which was torn down in about 1600. Some say that it was Oliver Cromwell's commands or so on. He was a real miserable guy, wasn't he? No fun in him at all. We're thinking of going and having some lunch here. I don't know if it's open, but... It's like they're open. Yeah, it's all right here, yeah. Oh, they're not open. Not for food. So the Green King doesn't do food. Yes. Got to find somewhere else. Now, oh, there we are, the Banbury Cross. First of all, that. The Banbury Cross doesn't do food either. Our search for a lunch spot continues. Parsons Lane. And this is the old reindeer. It's also one of the oldest pubs. Oliver Cromwell 
used to meet here to plot the downfall of the king in one of the back rooms. I've been overruled. We're going to go and have lunch here. It's also pretty old. The old auctioneer. Steak and chicken enchilada. And it's really good. Really nice, nice vibe. Nice music. And one of the oldest clubs in town. <laughs> 